Hey everyone, one of the most common flavors of Linux used in the studios, CentOS, is going away after version 7. So studio leadership for visual effects and animation companies got together and they issued the VFX Linux Distribution Recommendation Report for 2022. Let's talk about it right now on A Cup of Joe. Linux 7 is likely going to be the end of CentOS. And this has been one of the flavors of Linux that a lot of the studios and software has been built on. So with it going away, there's been a lot of concern within the visual effects and animation studios as to what flavor of Linux do we turn to? There's a lot of versions of Linux out there, and this isn't just about what is the coolest version or which one did people like, but it was doing a little bit more of a business analysis about which version is going to be sustainable and have a longer life and is gonna have an update path that's reliable and perhaps can actually have paid for enterprise support in addition to free versions for studios that wanna just have free licensing. Uh, as you know, most versions of Linux or many versions out there are free, but there are also enterprise support versions where you can actually have uh, deeper enterprise support. Because when you're a large organization, sometimes you hit the wall and you really need to involve the software company in helping you solve the problem. Uh, they don't do this for free. And this is where having software support on your operating system can really be a great advantage. So after much deliberation, the primary Linux version that the task force is recommending is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. That's R-H-E-L, Red Hat Enterprise Linux version. Uh, it's starting with the not eight version, but going into version nine. But I also would like to point out that they highlighted Alma Linux uh, version nine and Rocky Linux version nines uh, as alternatives to Red Hat. Alma and Rocky are two versions of Linux that closely follow the Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux version, but they do their own separate builds. You can download these for free and they track the builds of Red Hat. So if Red Hat does a security patch, you're going to see in a very rapid order, these other versions, Alma and Rocky, will also have those same patches. So by going with Alma or Rocky, you're effectively following the Red Hat roadmap. In addition to helping the studios decide what their workstation and render servers should be, what flavor of Linux, this is to also help software vendors in allowing them to target what flavors of Linux should they make sure their tools are compatible with. So as we know, there are a lot of applications that can run on Linux, such as Maya and, and other things. And, but there are some that are still Windows based. Uh, when you try to port from Windows to Linux and you have all these various flavors, you kind of need to choose one to at least start with. And again, I think Red Hat is where the studios are leaning towards following that roadmap for your software builds is the best path to getting your software into the hands of the studios. Now it's important to call out that Ubuntu also was, was discussed in this in this report. It's also a favored um, flavor of Linux. The general consensus was before software vendors start trying to tailor their software to work on Ubuntu, that they should perhaps first get their hands around the Red Hat versions first, and then as a secondary goal, focus on Ubuntu. So there are different flavors out there that are being suggested. It's not just one single flavor. And again, this isn't a popularity contest or which, uh, which flavor is coolest. Uh, this is really going down to a business decision. A lot of the participants in this report are larger companies, so they need to take a, a corporate perspective from this. And uh, it's not just about you know, which, uh, which one's best for their handful of artists for the small shops. The smaller the shop, the more um, outside of the box they can be with their choices. But the closer they stay to the Red Hat roadmap, the more likely they're going to be able to find Linux solutions that work right out of the box for their workflows. Whether you're in the IT side or whether you're on the artist side or whether you're in the R&D pipeline side, going through this document will definitely give you a lay of the land on what the studios are thinking about with Linux and where we're going to see it going in the future. So if your studio is firmly entrenched in Windows and really isn't involved with Linux much, you might want to take a portion of your staff and a portion of your budget and put it towards researching Linux solutions. You'll find that many of your competitors, both the medium and large companies especially, have adopted Linux into their workflow, into their pipeline, because it gives them a competitive edge. And if you're avoiding using Linux, then you're not getting access to that competitive edge. 
So I'd love to hear what your opinions are on which version of Linux is the best. Uh, did they make the right choice with Red Hat or do you feel that they should have gone a different direction? Uh, do you hate Linux? Do you love Linux? Uh, there's a lot of opinions on this and I'd love to hear yours. Thanks everyone.